This video will explain how to enable Access Teams. Once you go to Settings and Customize the System, under the Entities in the Account, you will see there is an option for Access Teams. As you can see, it's not enabled by default, so you have to uh, so you have to make sure you enable it first and that you have to save it and then publish it. Using Access Teams, you can give rights to the team members to access a particular record that can be a company record. In this example, I'm going to show only how to give access to an account record based on a team. If you have a team, you can have people inside the team and that particular team will have some given access to a particular record. After you publish, you can close. Yeah, you can go to settings, security, access the templates, and it'll create a template for the account entities. In my case, I'm going to say account access team Then I'm going to say this is for accounts, which companies. Then here you can give the rights that you prefer. And then I'll save. And after saving, you can close. Uh, again, see the new template is now created there. After you're done with this template creation, you can go back to one of the companies that you have in your system and you can click on form. We're gonna add a subgrid for that particular team access. You can add a team member to this particular grid that I'm gonna create right now and then you can save it. And then from that, time on, you will accept that particular use so you have access to this particular record. And you had to go to add a new subgrid over here. Inserts, and then you can say insert subgrid. Once you go to insert subgrid, you will see that you can type in a name here. So you can say access account. Access team. Then it's going to be for label. You can say by that account access team. And then it's going to be for all record types and for the user entity. The default view is going to be associated record team members. And now you can see that this team template is selected by default. And of course, check this label. Click OK. And then you can see this particular subgrid is now added to the form. Now you can go and save the form and hit publish to publish the form. Once the publishing is done, you can close and then you can go refresh your screen and go back to accounts and you can pick the account record again. Then you can see that the new access team block should be available for you to see. What you need to do is you have to click on this plus button and you can add a user record.
Once you save the record, this particular user will have access to the single record, which is a company record. And like that, you can get uh, actually give different users different rights regardless of their profile for individual records. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much. Until next time.